God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. To Christ the Prince of Peace, and Son of God Most High, the Father of the world to come, sing we with holy joy. Deep in his heart for us, the wound of love he bore, that love wherewith he still inflames the hearts that him adore. O Jesu, victim blessed, what else but love divine could thee constrain to open thus that sacred heart of thine? O fount of endless life, O spring of water clear, O flame celestial cleansing all, who unto thee draw near. Praise to the Father be, and soul begotten Son, praise holy paraclete to thee, while endless ages run. Your faithful shall bring out their joy as they enter your dwelling place, Lord. O Lord, remember David and all the many hardships endured. The oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to the bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the strong one of Jacob. At a fraud we heard of the yard. We found in the plains of Yerim. Let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest. You and the ark of your strength. Your priest shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring at their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Your faithful shall ring out their joy as they enter your dwelling place, Lord. The Lord has chosen Zion as his dwelling place. The Lord swore an oath to David, he will not go back and he sworn. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth, and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your 
your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion, He has decided for His dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation. And her faithful shall ring at their joy. Their David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamb for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord has chosen Zion as his dwelling place. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all peoples will serve him. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives, even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has given him power, and honour, and empire, and all peoples will serve him. You should all agree among yourselves and be sympathetic. Love the brothers, have compassion, and be modest and humble. Never pay back one wrong with another, or an angry word with another one. Instead, pay back with a blessing. That is what you are called to do, so that you inherit a blessing yourself. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. He filled us with honey from the rock. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. The Lord brought down the mighty from their seats and raised up the lowly. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength. And scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving wicked things, 
sends the rich away empty. He protects his rally servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. The Lord brought down the mighty from their seats, and raised up the lowly. Christ is the High Priest of his people. It is in him that we come together to make our prayer to the Father of us all. Father, put new hearts within us. We thank you for calling us into the church. Bless us with constant faith and make it a source of life for others. Father, put new hearts within us. Lord, bless Francis our Pope. We pray that his faith may not fail and that he may strengthen his brothers. Father, put new hearts within us. Turn sinners back to you. Grant us a humble and contrite heart. Father, put new hearts within us. Your son knew what it was to be excluded from his homeland. Be mindful of those who must live far from their family and country. Father, put new hearts within us. Give eternal rest to the dead. Bring the whole church together in heaven. Father, put new hearts within us. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We are filled Lord, our thanksgiving at the close of this day. In your mercy, forgive the faults we have committed through human frailty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.